Welcome back to Raw Sports Talk. I'm Chris, your favorite stat reader, and we have the Thunder hosting the Spurs, and the Thunder are 13 and a half point home favorites. The over-under is at 223. The Spurs are plus 575 on the money line, and the Thunder are minus 850. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to tip-off. Tomorrow, we're skipping around a little bit. There's a couple of games that don't have lines. The Grizzly... Uh, the Grizzlies and Nets game is one of them, and the Pelicans play the Warriors in a back-to-back. So, uh, The lineups are supposed to be Paul, Champagne, Barnes, Sochin, and Wimby. And then SGA, Dort, Wiggins, Williams, and Holmgren. Lineups have not been confirmed. That's just who's supposed to be there. Head-to-head, the Thunder are 6-4. and four. The home team's on a two-game winning streak. The home team is 7-3. and three. The favorite is 9 and 1 on the money line. The favorite is 7 and 3 against the spread. The over is 6 and 4 and the over under at 223 is 5 and 5. They played each other four times last year and every one of these games was a blowout regardless of who won, which is why the spread is the way that it is. The Thunder winning 123-87 in OKC, then winning 140-114 in San Antonio, then the Spurs winning 132 to 118 in San Antonio and then the Thunder coming back and washing them in the next game 127 to 89. The Spurs are 1 and 2, 229, 215, 207, losing by 11 to the Mavericks, then beating the Rockets by 3, then losing to the Rockets by 5. The Thunder are on a three-game winning streak, only three games they've played. 189, then there was a total of 209 and then 232, beating the Nuggets by 15 then beating the Bulls by 19, and then beating the Hawks by 24. The question is, are the Spurs going to get crushed the way that they did last year? I'll take the Thunder on the money line. The 13 and a half points just seems like it's too much, but when you hear the scores of the games that they played against each other, and I understand last year is last year, The closest game that they played was 14 points, and that was the game that the Spurs won. I'll lay lay the 13 and a half, and I'll go over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.